Hello, this is Doug Brook at North Star DHI Services. Today we're going to be looking at ways to improve health treatment records in the PCDART program. The Pasteurized Milk Ordinance describes complete records as animal identification, date of treatment, drug and dosage given, route of administration, meat and milk withhold times. We're going to start our discussion today by going to the word file, drop down to protocols. Once we're in protocols, we want to go to chores and create a new chore. Our first new chore is going to be XNL. Our chore description will be XNL, 20 cc's given IM. That would be a medication. Number of days to withhold milk is zero. Number of days to withhold meat is four. Once I save that new chore, now I have XNL as a list of available chores. We're going to create one new chore. This will be called Spectra. The chore description will be Spectra Mast. Infuse one tube. That is a medication. And then we're going to save that new chore. And if I don't put in days to withhold milk and meat, the program will remind me to do that. I do have to have days to withhold milk and meat, even if it is zero. So we're going to save that new chore. One other thing I want to be able to keep track of with PC Dart, who is administering that drug. So I'm going to create a new technician. That's going to be Sam. That would be Sam Bodle. I'll save that. Technician, I'm going to create a new technician who happens to be my parlor manager. His name is Joe. We call him Joe. His name is George. And I save that new technician. Now I've set up two different treatments we're going to have with route of administration, dosage, and who actually gave that treatment. To be able to put that information in, we need to go to our input desk and go down here to where it says chore done. We did treat two different cows today, 4286 and 4715. So I'm going to apply that individually. My first cow, 4286, I gave her Excel on this date. My technician was Sam. And so I will say done. My next cow had a mastitis treatment. So I'll scroll down here, find Spectra for Spectramass. Today's the day. My parlor guy was George. And then I'll say done. Now I've been able to create that information and get it entered into individual cows within PC Dart. Now once I have that information in, I do want to know that cow number 4715 has withhold milk and meat on her cow page. So I know she is one of those cows that I can't sell milk or meat from. If I happen to choose the other cow, which was 4286, she just has withhold meat. So that will list on the cow pages withhold milk and meat. There are a couple other things I really want to be able to generate reports for so that I can see all the cows that are in that withhold milk and meat. First thing I'm going to do is create a new report. That would be a new user report. I'm going to call this new user report drug usage and withhold times. The database items I want to use are number 50, which is index number, 396, which is milk is okay, 398, which will be treated, 397, we're looking at meat is okay, 399, we're going to look at treated, withhold meat. We're also going to be looking at 395, so I have the chores and withhold times. And I'm also going to look at 349, which would be chores done. And I'm just going to look at the current lactation. 
I just want to be able to get into the filter box. I am going to be looking at days since last chore done. That would be zero today, and we'll say three. We're going to look at 394, which would be select the milk withhold and also select the meat withhold. That's one through two. I'll go ahead and save this report. For me, it's number 76. So once I go back into my user reports, find my report number 76 and preview that. This is going to give me my meat and milk withholds dates, treatment, withhold times, when chores were done, and who actually administered that drug. Another way we can take a look at that information is go to our trackers. We can go to Activity Tracker. We're going to choose Fresh, Dry, and Sold. We're also going to be looking at chores. There is a button up here in the upper right that says, let's just look at chores. We're going to be looking at XNL, and I'm going to go down and find Spectramask because these were two of the drugs that I administered just recently. Once I preview this report, it's going to show me the number of cows, and they were done actually in June, that had received XNL and Spectramask treatments. If I wanted to go into reports, I'll close my sets here, go back to my standard reports find an animal health list. When I go over here I can choose in this gray area chores. I want to choose days prior. We're going to have 10 days prior. So once I preview that report it's going to list my chores done and these two cows are ones that I have given a drug treatment to. So that's using the 107 animal health list to be able to pull that information out once we have it entered in. One other thing I can do is from the standard reports. There is a standard report, there actually are four of them, that talk about today's withholding. And I can choose cows whose milk is not okay, cows whose meat is not okay, or animals whose milk or just meat is not okay. That includes heifers. If I go ahead and preview this report, that's standard report 903, I know there is one cow whose milk has to be withheld. If I go back and choose whose meat is not okay, preview that. There are more cows that have been treated in this herd than just those two that we were looking at before. And we're not going to be using temp groups or group numbers. We could actually do that, look at the different pen numbers or group numbers those cows are in to give us a better indication of where those cows are when they're coming through the parlor. This is Doug Brook at North Star DHI Services. Thank you.